guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Pilot 184 and I'm back with another flight sim video. Today's video I am flying the Airbus A318, the little baby Airbus. Um, this is a a chartered flight put on by Titan Airways which currently have the second um, Airbus A318 that was given to, well that was bought up by British Airways. Uh, they currently have it on lease and it is um, which is the registration Golf Echo Unif Uniform November Bravo. So Echo Golf Uniform November Alpha is still in operation and is flying the transatlantic flights from London City Airport to JFK in New York. However, this has come over to Titan and they've stripped the British Airways livery. Um, and at the moment, it's currently still operating with the British Airways uh, all business class layout of 32 seats. However, in the first quarter of next year, it will be operating 112 economy class seats. I assume that this is uh, for charter flights, possibly even in and out of um, London City Airport because it has this steep approach capability. Anyway, back to this video, and we are flying into Madeira today, um, or Madeira Fanchao Airport, which is currently being renamed to. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo International Airport who as you know is a famous football player or soccer if you're in America um, who is actually from the island so we're approximately 90 miles away from our top of descent so we're gonna set up the aircraft for an arrival um, so we'll go to the performance page which we are on we'll head over to the approach we'll set this to Barrow at the moment, oh, the QNH at the moment is 1020, and we'll set up Barrow. Actually, we'll need to go to the flight plan first. We'll go to Madeira, set arrival, and today we will arrive using runway 5, which is the most commonly used runway for approaches. We'll insert that, we have our approach set in, and that's done. And then we'll go back to our performance page and set our barrio. Uh, our decision altitude today will be at 2,000 feet. And that's about it, really, um, for setting up the approach. I'll show you the chart here. So you can have a look at what the approach will end up looking like, and then I will rejoin you back into the cockpit once we have passed, or once we get close to the Madeira um, VOR. Let's go through the descent preparation checklist. Seatbelt sign. Uh, oh, sorry, anti-ice. Off. Landing information. Received. Altimeter. Standard. Landing elevation checked. Thorough pressure. Checked. 
Checklist complete. Initiating descent. FMA check. Radar tilt. Set below. Approach checklist. Ecom status. Checked. Sliding table. Stowed. Stowed. Cabin sign. Checked. Nav accuracy. Checked. Barrow reference. Standard. Checklist complete. Okay guys, so uh, now we've got sight of the island um, of Madeira, which you can just about see through the clouds. Flight attendants, prepare for landing. As you heard there, the flight, um, the captain has called for the flight attendants to prepare for landing. So I've just activated the approach um, segment into the flight computer and I've turned the terrain system on the nav um, screen. So you can see what our flight path um, will be going around in circle as you saw on the um, uh, also on the charts as well, which I have shown you before, while setting up. So the weather has changed since um, I last spoke to you. The there are four, uh, seeing the showers on the ground. We got a northerly wind, so this approach is perfect. Um, and also, as you can see by looking out the window, there's a lot of clouds, cloud cover as well. So we're on our descent now down to 2,000 feet, which will, which is our decision altitude. Um, and then once we reach our decision altitude and we start our turn, I will disengage the autopilot. And by that point, we should be visual with the runway and should be able to fly directly in. So as you can see, we are currently slightly below, actually, the, um, the current flight path for the altitude so the aircraft is gently descending we're holding our speed up 180 one. and and calling for flaps, flaps one. one go flaps one speed is good so we're just um, sort of parallel to the Feng Chao uh, VOR, which you can see on the nav screen there as FUN on the screen. And um, so we should be, we are now on the final part of the approach. I'll bring in the nav down to 10 miles now. So we're now 10 miles away from the runway. We No visibility at the moment, and, as, and there's also some rain in these clouds. We're now actually reaching now our uh, good altitude for the approach. We're bringing it down further, down to 2,000 feet. Our landing speed today, which I didn't think I briefed, is 114, as you can see from our from the MCDMU. Hitting some turbulence as we come through the clouds here. But the autopilot is keeping good good track. So it looks like we're coming down onto the bottom layer and you can just about see the airport there. Transition altitude. And we've reached the transition. So we'll set the barrio. Barrow reference set and cross check. 
Checked. Okay, I'm going to go flaps two flaps now. Two. Because we're approaching the curve. Gear down. Gear's going down as well. Set low auto brake. Arm the spoilers. Flaps three. And flaps full. Flaps full. Flaps full. See, we're now we're turning in towards the island. You should, you should be able to make out the um, the light strips as well that will lead us in. So we're at 2,500 feet above sea level, so we are approaching our decision altitude, and visibility is good at this altitude. I'm going to disengage the autopilot now. Auto flight off. And set to 3000 feet. So now I'm flying manually. As you heard, the autopilot is off. And we're going to start descending now. Landing checklist 100 above. Landing gear down and, and locked. locked. Minimum free, free green. Continue. Ground spoilers checked and armed. Auto brake low. Exterior lights. Set. Go round altitude. Checked. Landing memo. Proceed. Checked and now blue. Checklist complete. Okay, so now we've completed our approach checklist. I'm just gonna hold try to keep my vest on the altitude. I'm a bit too low, but that's no problem. Not dramatically low or dramatically high. You can see next to my altitude display there is a magenta box which I am trying to keep the aircraft in and I'm also following the nav display to guide the aircraft into the approach. So you can see now there's a beam of lights that will guide me into the runway which is amazing about Madeira as well. So it just sort of hugs the coast and I have the runway in sight as well so we're good for the visual. I could technically turn off the FD but I'm going to keep the flight director on just to help guide through. A couple of times I've been doing this, I've been flaring quite late, so let's see how this one turns out today. So we're going to follow this bank of lights, uh, which will guide us into the runway. We're at good speed. I think we're a little high, but that's just to compensate for the high wind speed. 1, Here's the rain now. Below a thousand feet, so caution, the taxiway, caution, taxiway. That's just the uh, the runway. I don't know what they call it, the GP WS system going a bit mental because I'm not in line for the runway, especially at this altitude. Pappies are good, I can just about make out the pappies. Made that turn just a tad too steep, but that's no problem. Good for attitude. Got 15 knot wind, it's quite strong. Three hundred. Two hundred. 
400, 30, 20, retard, 5. Ground spoilers. Touchdown. Reverse. Reverse green. A little bit slewed to the right, but that's no problem. 70 knots. Reverses are out. Manual brake. brakes, auto brakes off. Turn the FD off, turn the terrain display off. So there we go guys, that's the Madeira approach. Not the best in the world, obviously I am not the best in the world. But <laughs> that's the Madeira approach. Oh, I've just fucked up the uh, turning there. Oh shit. Okay, so guys, that's Madeira approach, and I'm going to park up the aircraft now. Just going to stop on the side of the runway here. And the after landing checklist. Exterior lights. Set. Ground spoilers. Checked. Retracted. Engine mode selector. Checked. Check normal. normal. Flaps. Checked. Flaps retracted. T-gas. Checked. T standby. standby. Brake temperature. Checked. APU. On. Checklist complete. So our checklist is complete now. Um, I'll call up G GSX to get us a parking spot. So I've got a parking space now, um, we use the GSX system to park us up and we'll be good and we'll shut down. So we're now coming up to parking bay 4, which is where we'll be parking up. You can see our ground handlers there ready to receive us. So we're just going to slow it down almost to a crawl so we can turn the aircraft. I'm going to start turning the aircraft now. bit slewed that shouldn't be too much of an issue just gonna adjust myself So we can park and brake set and engines off, please. It was a nice flight, so let's do the parking checklist and then we are done for the day. 
parking brake and chocks. And the chocks are set. Pack and brake released. Engines master. Both, Both off. Seat Seatbelt signed. Set off. Beacon lights. Set off. Exterior lights. Set off. Anti ice. Off. Fuel pumps. Set off. Checklist complete. 